Hello, everybody, and welcome to Macomb Township Government Access coverage of Varsity Girls Basketball. I'm Jason Burt, here from Lance Cruz North High School, getting set for this matchup here between the Lance Cruz North Crusaders and the Utica Chieftains. Let's quickly take a look at the starting lineups as they're being announced. First for the visiting Utica Chieftains, head coach Tom McDonald. We have number 12, Anna Svetkovsky. Number 22, Natalie Stogren. Number 23, Bree Zavakuna. Number 32, Maddie Badges. And number 34, Lena Ria. For the Home Crusaders, we have number five, Brooke Daniels. Number 10, Jakaya Mack. Number 23, Olivia Chadwick. Number 25, Emma Kozicki. And number 45, Robin Rosu. Head coach of the Crusaders is Claire Caprol. Both of these teams, two of the better in Macomb County. As Lance Cruz North finishing up their starting introductions. Utica comes in at a perfect 9-0 on the year. Lance Cruz North, 9-1 overall. Both 2-0 in the Mac White. This will be the first of two meetings between these two schools, at least two meetings, as they'll play each other once again later on in February. Lance Cruz North, of course, led by a County Player of the Year candidate, perhaps, and Brooke Daniels, number five, obviously the player to watch for Lance Cruz North. Crusaders in the home white uniforms. Utica in the road black with orange. And we are about set to go. An important early game feel thus far in the season, quick tip ball comes to the Crusaders and an early lay-in right there. Ja'Kaya Mack, the opening tip up to her and she was able to lay that one in. Utica underneath, they kick it out. Open three-pointer on the way. Off the iron, a battle for that board. Mack comes down with it. Jakaya Mack controlling the offense, gets a screen. Comes around, might have taken an extra step that time. Daniels up with it, misses, but she drew some contact and she'll go to the line. Brooke Daniels outstanding at creating space and creating her own shots. Daniels knocks down the first. Second one off the back iron, rebounded by Matty Badges, and here comes the Chieftains trying to push it ahead. That ball knocked away by Mack nicely. Lost her footing though, and Utica comes back away with it. Chieftains now will set up in the half court. Lena Ria controlling things out top. Pressure defense. Out of bounds, it'll remain with the Chieftains, but right there was Brooke Daniels forcing some pressure. Baseline cut off that time, but dribbling it out of bounds. A turnover for Utica, and here comes North now with an early three-point lead. Chadwick moves it around. Mack now has it. To the foul line, looking to go up strong with it. Knocked away, Daniels comes away with it. 
A deep three-pointer on the way off glass. Knocked down that time, Emma Kozicki. Not sure if she called glass, but it counts nonetheless. Six nothing Crusaders. Three pointer on the way, looking to match off the mark. Ball out of bounds, it'll go to North. So right now, Utica looking for some offense. They will bring some pressure now, the full court press. Daniels has it, dribbles up. Almost one on three that time. A wild shot misses, here come the Chieftains. Rhea controls. Michaela Downs has checked into the game. Nice little pull up jump shot that time, misses. Mack with the board. Up ahead, there is Downs, got it to fall. Eight nothing run to start this one. Chieftains on the road, not what they wanted to start. Inside, that one blocked by Mack, on the floor, out of bounds. Another turnover, and North will have it. So the Crusaders forcing the Chieftains into a couple early turnovers here. Under five minutes to go in the opening quarter. Daniels draws a lot of attention. Wide open three off the mark that time. Here comes Utica now in transition, trying to push it. Up strong and one is Lena Ria. So the Chieftains on the board and Rhea at the line looking to complete the three point play. North looking to push, another three point opportunity on the way. This one off the mark as well. Nice offensive rebound that time, Kozicki, ball loose. A battle for it, Daniels comes away. Utica wanted to travel, Daniels up with it, misses. Still loose, North has it once again. Mack, deep three off glass, that one misses. Like a pinball out there. And now we finally get a whistle. No, we don't. They still play on. Utica finally comes away with a board and Daniels is gonna get whistled for a reach in foul. I'm sure Coach Capro likes the aggressiveness, but doesn't want her to pick up some of those foolish fouls. You can feel the energy in this gymnasium. A big early season ball game here in the league between these two Mac White rivals. The winner will take sole possession of first place. Jump shot that time falls. Lena Ria again. She's got all five points. And LCN turns it over, coming right back. So back and forth now after an 8-0 run. Utica has scored the last five. And now they have the ball. That ball might have been partially tipped. The officials. The official's gonna say it still is Lance Cruz North ball. The officials are now gonna come together and talk about it. The ball took a kind of a crazy, they're gonna say it's Utica ball right there now instead of Lance Cruz North basketball. With 3.25 left to go in the opening quarter. Three point advantage here for North. Out of the corner, Badges. Had that ball knocked out of bounds. Chieftains will keep it.
Inbounds comes to Caitlin Stogren, who's checked into this game. That's number 25. Three-pointer on the way. Rhea off the front iron, but an offensive rebound by Utica. That shot off the mark, and here comes North now. Brooke Daniels looking to push it. Hit from behind. We're going to get a foul. Sarah Fromm, who's checked into the game for the Chieftains. Some contact from behind. Two team fouls apiece now. Robin Rousseau back in the game, number 45 for North. Daniels goes all the way across court, sets up an open three that time off the mark. Second chance opportunity. We're going to get a foul, and Coach McDonald unhappy on the Utica side. Russo at the line for two. Five different Crusaders have scored now in this opening quarter. Second foul shot off the back iron, so score remains 9-5. Here comes Utica now. Ball thrown back out, dangerous pass that time. Utica keeps the possession, they'll set things up. Rhea out top, has all five points for the Chieftains, being guarded by Mack. Gets a screen, comes around it, fires and hits. Seven points right now for Lena Rhea. Daniels drives in, draws some contact, blocking foul against Utica. 2.07 left to go in the quarter. And now Daniels at the line for two. Daniel sets for her second. In and out, back in again. So three points thus far for Brooke Daniels. Two minutes to go in the quarter. And a four point lead. Three pointer on the way, off the mark, rebounded by Daniels. Always looking to push it. Through two defenders, drops it off. Nice up and under miss. Daniels, second opportunity. It was Olivia Chadwick had the first chance. And Daniels got the rebound and was fouled trying to put it back up and down. Daniels misses the second, so a five-point advantage for North. Rhea brings it up. She's got all seven points for the Chieftains. Three-pointer on the way. Number 25, Caitlin Stogren misses. Ball out of bounds off the Chieftains. It'll be LCN basketball. Kaya Mack, number 10, brings it up. Options for the Crusaders is they can play Daniels off the ball. Post move, goes up, misses. Good defense that time by Utica. Now in transition themselves, but all five behind. Rhea puts a little hesitation up and under. Got it to fall. Acrobatic shot. 
And it, right now, it's LCN 12 and Lena Rhea 9. Kozicki goes in strong, misses. Ball loose underneath, Utica comes away with it. And now the Chieftains can get within one, maybe even tie it. Down to 20 seconds remaining and they're just gonna hold it for the final shot perhaps of this quarter. Daniels out guarding Rhea. Blocks the three point attempt. Comes down with it, three seconds. Can she get a shot up just inside half court? Off the mark. And that's the way the first quarter will come to a close. The Crusaders on their home court have a 12-9 lead. Stay with us, we'll be back in a few moments for the start of the second quarter. Don't go away. Listen, you're my friend. I noticed you haven't really been yourself recently. Yeah, I feel like something's up. How are you? Are you okay? Is there anything you want to talk about? I just want to know how you're feeling. And listen, even if you don't know what to say, I'm here to talk. No matter what you're going through, I just want you to know I'm here. I've got your back. When you want to talk, I'm here. Welcome back here at Macomb Township Government Access. Jason Burnt with you getting set for the start of the second quarter between the Lance Cruz North Crusaders and the Utica Chieftains, varsity girls basketball. LCN has the 12-9 lead as we start the second. Utica starts with the ball. Lena Rhea, the story for the Chieftains in that first quarter, all nine points. Now Utica looking to get some offensive production perhaps elsewhere. They move it around the perimeter. And a pass picked off that time by Mack. Nicely done to play the passing lane. Goes up strong, misses. Daniels with the offensive board. She misses, gets her own rebound, puts it up again, and a third miss. And now we're gonna get a reach in foul. It's going to go against Olivia Chadwick trying to get the ball back, but story there, LCN just couldn't capitalize on missed opportunities. Had three chances that time. Chieftains can get it here within one, maybe even tie it up. Corner three goes up off the mark that time by number 22, Stogren. We're gonna get a jump ball and possession arrow favors Lance Cruz North. So Ja'Kiah Mack will control the offense. They'll play Brooke Daniels off the ball. Just being hounded that time by Sarah Fromm. They're gonna get her for a foul. Challenging defensive assignment for whoever gets matched up against Brooke Daniels. Daniels takes the inbound pass and will run the offense with the ball. Mack for three, 
Deep three-pointer, knocks it down. Five points for Ja'Kiah Mack, and Belsian can knock down those open looks when Daniels draws the double teams. It's going to be a long night for the Chieftains. Down 15-9 now. Three-pointer looking to answer. Off glass. Natalie Stogren. So a beautiful answer that time by the Chieftains. Now back within three. Chadwick dribbles in amongst defenders. Excuse. Utica now tried to kick it out. Moments ago I said Chadwick's name. It was actually Kozicki. Those gold numbers on the uniforms, difficult to see at times. Utica over the top. Five and a half to go in the half. Utica sets up their half court offense. Screen coming. Rhea sets herself up for three off the front iron. Rebounded by North. Here comes Brooke Daniels, always looking to push things in transition. Spins, fires, misses. Tough defense that time as she tried to go up against three defenders. Sometimes you got to just recognize and kick it out. Cross court pass, dangerous. Off glass, nice running lay in that time though by Anna Svetkovsky. Nice play to come to the ball. And then drive it inside. Utica down by one. They have not led in this ball game. Three-pointer on the way, knocked down. Emma Kozicki. Six points for her in this ball game. And just like that, extending the lead to four. These cross-court passes by both sides really could be dangerous. Three-pointer on the way by Stogren, off the mark, rebounded by Daniels. Behind the back dribble, drops it off Mack. Didn't really have position, sets herself for a deep three again, off the mark. Might have rushed that shot that time. And now poke away, Daniels. Lays it in. Six points for Brooke Daniels. Six point lead now for North. Good ball fake, hard drive inside, swatted away by Mack. And now Daniels has it. Three pointer again, off the mark this time. Kozicki's knocked down a couple of them. That one off the iron, and here come some substitutions now for both sides as Livia Chadwick and Peyton Sam check in. As does Annabella Stout for Lance Cruz North. Try to keep you up to date here. A couple Chieftains came in as well. Breeze Avakua checks back in. A knock away, North comes away. Nearly turned it right back over, still bouncing around, and now they'll settle it down. Michaela Downs controls things out top. Puts it on the floor, drives in with the left hand, misses. Good first step, an offensive rebound that time by Daniels, and she was fouled. Battling for it inside that time with Zavakua. And Daniels will go to the line. Two fifty-three left to go in the half. North looking to extend their six point advantage. Official now over to the scorer's table to talk things over. Hey. 
Daniels knocks down the first. The second one misses. Utica battles to the board. It did hit the baseline. Chadwick thought she might have saved that one for North that time, but the official says that the basketball belongs to the Chieftains. Some pressure now being brought here by North. Utica struggling to get the ball inbound, and they do turn it over. Now we're going to get a, a foul on this end. Gonna get another Chieftain foul. That's the eighth team foul, so one on one opportunity. Michaela Downs at the line, knocks down the first. Four points in the first half here for Michaela Downs. And it's a nine point advantage for North. Their largest lead of the game. That pass almost picked off, went through the legs of Chadwick and Utica fortunate to maintain the possession. Rhea now sets up the half court offense as Coach Tom McDonald shouts it out. Three-pointer on the way, knocked down from the corner. That time, Ayanna Svetkovsky. She's got five points all in this quarter. Downs, a deep three-pointer off the back iron, rebounded by Rhea. Puts on a little hesitation, lost the ball, now we'll get it back. Spins at the foul line, kicks it out. Three-pointer on the way, off glass, knocked down. Maddie Badges, her first bucket of the game, and just like that, it's a three-point game. Looking for an answer on this end, Daniels, three-pointer off the mark, it'll be Utica basketball, and their fans are fired up. And we're gonna get a North timeout. Momentum there on the side of the Chieftains. 23-20 our score. I mentioned earlier the records of these two teams, 9-0 for Utica coming in, 9-1 overall for North. Both 2-0 in the Mac White. The rematch of this game will take place on February 4th. It'll be at Utica, it's a Friday night game, so Whoever loses this ball game here tonight will look for redemption in that one. Other games coming up for both schools. Lance Cruz North has Utica Ford on the road on the 21st of January, followed by two home games against Stevenson and Anchor Bay. <laughs> Utica has a road game on the 21st against Anchor Bay, followed by a home game against Ford. And then Romeo on the road to finish out January. So both these two schools in their quest for a Mac White championship. So here we go, minute 35 left to go out of the timeout. Driving inside that time, missed by Rhea. Out in transition, Chadwick goes up with the left hand, lays it in. Her first bucket of the game. Over the top here, here's Utica with a quick answer. Rhea, 11 points for her in this one. Three point ball game yet again. Downs, three pointer, that one off the mark. Offensive board though. Ball stays with the Crusaders. That pass mishandled, otherwise there might have been a clean look from the outside. Downs puts it on the floor with the left hand, floats one off glass and knocks it down. 
Michaela Downs. Five point lead now for North, 38 seconds remaining. Tough defense being played that time. A knock away by Brooke Daniels. Thirty seconds remaining. And just like the first quarter ended, it appears Utica might try to hold for one final shot. Well, just on that note, they take one here with 14 seconds remaining. Got a second opportunity missed. And now here comes North with under 10 seconds. Chadwick, three-pointer from the outside, misses. Ball bounces around. It's loose, and that's the way the first half will come to a close. Nicely played first half by both schools. North has the 27-22 lead as we enter halftime. Stay with us. We'll be back in a little bit for the start of the second half. Don't go away. The voice of Michigan student athletes, the Student Advisory Council's role is to convey the message of how high school sports are supposed to be played. We are responsible for helping the MHSAA maintain a positive and healthy atmosphere so that interscholastic athletes may thrive. We believe athletes should be competitive, sportsmanlike, and excel academically. We believe students in the stands should have fun, but not take the focus away from the game. We believe coaches should act as teachers. Helping student athletes develop while still keeping high school sports in perspective. We believe that parents should always be positive role models. And be supportive of their child's decisions. We believe officials commit their own time to high school sports. And respect should always be shown and given to them. The most important goal for student athletes is to enjoy high school sports. While keeping a high level of respect between all those involved in the games. Enjoy the game! Macomb County, 27 cities, townships, and villages. From East Point to Memphis, Romeo to New Baltimore, 458 square miles of where you want to be. It's a place where your children can grow, and so can your business. Macomb County's tree-lined borders contain over 12,000 acres of parkland. Its outer edge, 31 miles of freshwater shoreline, both filled each year with countless concerts, festivals, and family reunions. It's the birthplace of advanced technologies that not only instruct future generations, but protect them. Hey, and those are just facts. You can get that from the internet or a book. No. To truly understand what Macomb County is all about, you need to experience it. You need to live here. You need to work here. When you do that, you'll know you're home. Welcome back here at Macomb Township Government Access. I'm Jason Burnt here with you, getting set for the second half between Lance Cruz North and Utica Varsity Girls Basketball. The Crusaders have a 27-22 lead here as we start the third quarter. Leading the way for LCM, Brooke Daniels has seven points. Michaela Downs with six. Uh, as well as Emma Kozicki has six points, so spreading it around. And right now have the five-point advantage. Utica starts with the ball. They were led in that first half by Lena Ria, who had 13 point, excuse me, 11 points. Backdoor pass, baseline. Bringing it back out that time was Svetkovsky. From the foul line, turnaround jump shot off the mark, rebounded by Chadwick. 
So here comes North now with their first possession here of the second half, a drop off pass, three pointer on the way. The miss, Chadwick with the offensive board. Jakiah Mack has it once again. They go into the post now, Daniels kicks it out. Three pointer on the way, knocked down. Emma Kozicki. That's her third triple of the game. Give her nine. And Utica comes right down the court and turns it over. I was about to say Utica's done a nice job answering, but that time they threw it out of bounds. North now looking to extend their lead to double digits. Into the post, Daniels turns baseline. Sure little jump shot, hits. Nine points tonight for Brooke Daniels. She leads the Crusaders most nights in scoring. Offense coming out here in the second half, a little lethargic looking for Utica. Another knock away. And now we're gonna get a reach in foul. A little too aggressive that time was Michaela Downs trying to knock that ball away. Inbound pass under the basket, a little up and under. Lena Ria. Continues the scoring she had in the first half. Now with 13 points. Three-pointer on the way once again. Kozicki misses that time. Chadwick with an offensive rebound. Tried to put it back up and down, couldn't do it. Badges had that ball for Utica knocked away by Daniels. And now we're gonna get a timeout on the Utica sideline. They want a they want a full timeout, it looked like. So an eight point lead for North. I mentioned earlier in the first half, mentioning the records of these two teams, both 2-0 within the league. It's early yet, but 9-0 overall for Utica, unbeaten. Lance Cruz North at 9-1. Both similar offensive and defensive averages per game for both of these schools, so very evenly matched. But this game will go a long way in determining who will win the white and who will get the higher seed in the red-white tournament later on this year. So out of the timeout now. Lena Ria controls things out top. Defensive switch that time. Chadwick picked her up, a little floater. Falls for Rhea. And boy, she's been the offense thus far tonight for Utica. Drive inside, some contact there. Kozicki, we've seen her working beyond the three-point line here tonight. Drove that one in, she'll go to the line. Zicky's first shot off the mark. Second one rolls off as well. Battle for the boards as Daniels tried to get it, but here comes Utica now. Rhea, pull up jump shot off the back iron. 
Daniels with the board. Now looking to push in transition. Goes up strong with it off glass. Misses. But a putback by Michaela Downs. Eight points for Downs in this ball game. And an eight point lead for North. Four and a half to go in the third quarter. Rhea gets a screen. Over in the corner, three pointer on the way short. Daniels comes away with it. Downs from the corner, three pointer knocked down. A big transition that time. Utica had a chance to cut into the lead. Instead, LCN comes down and knocks down a triple. Now they have their largest lead with 11. Utica trying to find some sort of semblance of offense. The pass swiped that time by Kozicki. Knocked out of bounds. It'll stay with North. Chikaya Mack will inbound. Brooke Daniels controlling things out top. Kozicki puts it on the floor. Off balance shot. Down on the floor to grab her own rebound. A battle for it. Jump ball called and the possession arrow will favor the Crusaders. So they'll stay on this side of the court. 314 left to go in the third. Chadwick catches it off the inbound. Kozicki just outside the foul line and the elbow misses. Here comes Utica now. The crossover attempt that time swiped by Daniels. Nice knock away. And she nearly knocked away in the lane and Utica comes away with the steal. So good defense that time. To prevent Daniels from getting an easy bucket. Boy, what a matchup we're seeing. Rhea versus Daniels on both sides of the court. We're gonna get a reach in foul against Daniels. Utica has it underneath their own basket. Trailing by 11. Three pointer on the way. Stogren misses. Ball knocked away. Here comes Mack in transition. She'll take it all the way in, lay it up, miss. Daniels trying to come down with the rebound. Here comes Utica now trying to push it. They instead kick it out, and that pass picked off. Here comes Mack. Now the other direction. Up with the left hand, misses Daniels with the board and a put back off the miss from Downs. LCN now with their largest lead. Utica's got to come up with some offense here in this final two minutes of the third quarter. They expect to make a run in the fourth. Caitlin Stogren has it out top now. Badges moves it around. Pass inside, knocked away, but Utica comes down with it. Maintaining the possession with a minute and a half left to go in the quarter. And now we're gonna get a reach in foul and it looks like this one's gonna go against, if it's against Daniels, that's gonna be her third. And it is, that's the third foul against Brooke Daniels. So she'll exit the ball game. Turnaround baseline jumper knocked down by Lena Rhea. Six points in the quarter, 17 for the game. Defense, 
Utica now looking for some pressure defense. That's knocked away. Rhea in transition now, floats one and it falls. And maybe the Chieftains looking for a little momentum now with Brooke Daniels on the bench. Under a minute to go here in the quarter. The lead down to nine. And a turnover, here come the Chieftains now. They can cut into that deficit even more. 30 seconds remaining. And they will hold and be content for one final shot. Three-pointer on the way, knocked down by Lena Ria. 11 points in the third quarter alone, and just like that, it's a six-point game. Two seconds, North needs to shoot it. It will count. And that's the way the third quarter comes to a close. The Chieftains close it out with a fury but they still trail 39-33. Stay with us. We'll be back for the fourth quarter in a few moments. Don't go away. I don't think that many kids in my son's school even do it. No way. No way. No way. No way. My kid would never vape. Get your head out of the cloud. Talk to your kid about vaping. Visit talkaboutvaping.org. Welcome back here on Macomb Township Government Access. Jason Byrne getting set for the fourth quarter here between Utica and Lance Cruz North. And you can see number 34, Lena Ria. She's been everything tonight for the Chieftains. She scored 11 points in that third quarter alone. On route to thus far 22. Utica will have the ball. They ended that third quarter with some momentum. Brooke Daniels is back into the game, playing with three fouls. Rhea with a nice crossover, goes up strong, drew the contact. Boy, that quick move, baseline. And now she'll go to the line looking to hit a couple from the stripe. Utica has trailed by as many as 13 in this one. First shot off the mark. Second one misses as well. Long rebound comes down to Mack. She tries to push it. Goes up strong off glass and lays it in. Ja'Kaya Mack. Well, she had an idea what to do with that thing once she came down with it. 41-33, our score. High cross-court pass out of bounds. Utica turns it over. Kaya Mack now, one-on-one -on -one bringing it up court. Being guarded by Rhea. And now a little too aggressive that time is Rhea. Lena Ria has played an excellent ball game here tonight and defensively they're trying to do it on this end of the court. Reached in and contact with Mack and a little extracurricular after the fact, no call there. So we play on under seven minutes to go here in the ball game. Daniels out top, puts it on the floor, drives in, drew some contact. We'll see if it's on the floor or if they're gonna give her shots on this one. And they're lining up as if, yep, Brooke's gonna get a couple at the stripe. Looking to push this lead back to double digits.
So Daniels knocks them both down, 43-33. We've seen offense in a hurry from the Chieftains here tonight, so they're not out of this thing by any realm of the imagination. But they gotta get some scoring. And why not go to number 34, Rhea inside. A little turnaround misses though, however. She's been the offense here tonight for the Chieftains. Daniels now patient, kicks it out. Three-pointer on the way, knocked down. Olivia Chadwick. Five points for Chadwick tonight. And now she picks off that pass. Up ahead, Daniels, one on two. Goes up strong with it and drew the foul. Not afraid to go up between two defenders that time. Brooke Daniels gives LCN their largest lead of the night. Looking to extend on it. Fifteen points scored tonight for Brooke Daniels. However, number 34 who's controlling things right now for Utica, high score in the game. With 22, three-pointer on the way, off the mark. And now here comes North. Mack with a three-pointer, knocked down. And you get the sense this thing's slipping away from the Chieftains. Lanskers North. On a 12-0 run here in the fourth quarter. Daniels swoops in, drew the contact yet again, and she'll go to the line. The Chieftains have yet to score here in the fourth. And we're gonna get a Chieftain timeout here before we see any foul shots, so. Coach Tom McDonald wants to talk it over as this thing is, like I said, kind of slipped away here. The Chieftains several times throughout this game have gone on spurts and gotten close. And Crusaders have answered here in the fourth quarter on their home court to extend the lead to 18. Other scorers tonight, I mentioned the 15 points from Brooke Daniels for North. Ja'Kaya Mack has 10 points. Michaela Downs with 11. Emma, Emma Kozicki with nine points. And Olivia Chadwick with five, so. Brooke Daniels at the line now for two. Officials come together talking if that was a shooting foul or on the floor, I guess, but it's a two-shot foul. First shot off the mark from Daniels. Talking with her coach before the game, Coach Caprell, said it's amazing and almost every night, Brooke, just how good she is almost every night is posting triple-double numbers. Definitely a uh, all-county or county player of the year and girls basketball candidate. Pass Utica over the top, thrown away and now picked off. Daniels in transition yet again. Spins, that one knocked away. It'll remain North basketball. Off the inbound, Daniels got it, gets a second opportunity off glass, knocks it down. Give her two more, 
18 points now in the game. And this game went back and forth through three quarters. It was the start of that fourth quarter as a three-pointer knocked down by Elena Ria. First points of the fourth here for the Chieftains, and she's played an outstanding ball game here tonight. But that beginning of that fourth quarter, LCN just put their foot down. Another three-pointer. Ja'Kaya Mack. She's got eight points scored here in the fourth alone. The Crusaders are going to leave here tonight. And three and all within the Mack White. Another three-pointer on the way. Lena Ria just adds to her total. We're going to get a 30-second timeout here for Lance Cruz North, but how about 28 points scored here tonight for Lena Ria? Doing everything she can to try to keep the or the uh, Chieftains rather in the ball game. But LCN coming out here in the fourth quarter with a 12-0 run to start. Really capped off a, a great performance. And barring something in the final three minutes and 40 seconds. As I mentioned, North will improve to three and oh. Utica drops their first game of the year with a loss here tonight. And they will have a rematch. They will play on February 4th at Utica. It'll be a Friday night. I'm sure they'll have a full crowd there anticipating a little payback. Some substitutions now for North. Number 14, Reese Sparks into the game as is number three, Annabella Stout. Peyton Sam also into the game, so Coach Capril showing the depth, bringing in some players here late in the game to get some playing time. Daniels drops it off, Chadwick. Gets it back beyond the arc. And now we're gonna get a Jump ball underneath, possession arrow favors North. Down to three minutes remaining in the ball game. Sense things slowing down now, North just looking to eat some clock. Baseline cut off that time, but we're going to get a push off. Peyton Sam tried to create some space that time when the baseline was cut off. It's called for the offensive foul, so Chieftains have it. A little pressure being brought here now by the Crusaders as well. Under three minutes, 2.45 left to go. Ball loose, knocked away that time from Rhea. Sets up a three-point opportunity, that one off the mark, rebounded by Chadwick. Now pushes off ahead to Sparks. Drive inside, misses, here comes Utica now. Two on three the other way. They'll just hold things up in transition this time and look up to set up a three-pointer here. Number 25, Stogren, uh, can't knock that one down. Brooke Daniels recognizes they want to just, again, eat that clock under two minutes to go. LCN just moves it around, just wasting time. Three-pointer from Chadwick off the mark, and but an offensive rebound. And North keeps the possession. Daniels. Another outside shot missed. Here comes the Chieftains. 
Quick shot that time by Rhea, misses, and once again, just looking to burn clock. Daniel slowly brings it up. Coming up on a minute to play, and now the LCN faithful shows their appreciation for a hard fought win here tonight. These two schools will see each other at least one more time. Very possible they can see each other in the red-white crossover tournament and possibly even in postseason play. Daniels drops it off. Unselfish at times, she would have had an easy bucket instead looking for a teammate underneath to try to get some points that time. Annabella Stout had a chance at it, but then they fouled Daniel, so she'll go to the line. Now some fresh substitutions for both sides. This final 36 seconds as the starters that remained in the game for North get a much deserved ovation as well as does Lena Ria who deserves that tonight. Leaves the game 28 points scored, led the way for the Chieftains. North grabs an offensive rebound off the second missed free throw. Pass inside deflected and stolen, here comes Utica, and that one deflected. Ball loose, and now we're going to get a kick ball with 11 seconds remaining. So all North has to do is basically inbound the ball, and this one's over. LCN will leave the Jackson Gymnasium with a 57-39 win over the Utica Chieftains. They will improve to 3-0 in the Mac White. And they hand, again, Utica their first loss of the year. LCN 9, or excuse me, 10-1 now overall. Utica drops to 2-1 in the White and 9-1 overall. Outstanding ball game here tonight. We thank you so much for joining us here at Macomb Township Government Access. For my videographer, James Drum, I'm Jason Burt, saying so long. Thank you for watching. Once again, final score. LCN wins it 57-39, so long.